morning guys hey um it's 5 38 so and you know kind of finishing up some of my prayer i got up a little bit earlier this morning but it's one of my messages out there about the calling for a 5 a.m prayer as a nation actually as a world as the world but that's what the lord dealt with me about but look it up um but this one and i and i love the the festivity of it but it's about idols, guys, because there is a storm coming. And this one is about the idols of the holidays. The Lord spoke to me about, and this is part of it, but that we lost a generation. I wonder why our children don't believe in God. Fairy tales and just, it's twisted and out of control, at least from a Christian standpoint. If you're in the world, I get it. Probably not even just mad when I said people say anything or whatever, you know, but as a child of God, full of Jesus, the Holy Ghost and his word, it's different. So we've replaced God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost and his word. Let's start with Christmas, guys, okay? We placed the birth of Jesus, which we celebrate. You know, you no, I don't think anybody knows the date, really. We could, that could be a whole other rabbit hole. I'm not going to go there. But we picked that day to celebrate it. But we replaced it with a Christmas tree and Santa Claus. Take... Christ out of Christmas even, Xmas, you know, the list could go on and on. Become an idol, guys. I went into a major retailer, $400 to $800 Christmas trees, $2,500 TVs, just stuff, 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 stuff at Christmas. And they start earlier and earlier and earlier. Now it's September. <clears throat> used to be October. Used to be, you know, Black Friday, all this crazy, it's been replaced. Cause it's cool, fuzzy, warm, fuzzy feel. Oh, it's good, you know, it's just, it's not guys. It's not cool anymore. Hadn't been in a long time. I didn't do this, guys, but that's one of my messages. But why are so many churches closed and shut down other than in the digital realm, which isn't going to last either? I didn't do it, guys. God did. Because of the mess that, that we're in, there is a storm coming, guys. This c coronavirus is maybe part of it, maybe a big part of it. I don't, not, you know. It's decision time, guys. Time to choose God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. <clears throat> no more sitting on the fence. No more surreal, you know, let's stay in the holidays, guys, okay? Because there's one coming up next week or the week after. Sorry. Um. Easter, Ce celebrating the resurrection of Christ, living, coming, you know, the living God, Jesus, manifested in the flesh, rising from the dead. I placed it with an Easter bunny. Everybody chases eggs in their yard. Easter bunny laid an egg. Well, it's a lie, guys. Sorry. Bunnies have... Don't bunnies have baby bunnies? They don't lay eggs. <clears throat> and then we wonder why our children, because we fed them all this Disneyland garbage, Disney World trash, surreal you know everything superheroes you know guys like 
you know, I grew up on that too, okay? So, it doesn't feel good. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news. I'm saying it's decision time. It's time to choose. You're a Christian, and if you're claiming to be a Christian, you're claiming to be full of God and Dr. Jesus and the Holy Ghost and His Word. It's just time to act like it. It's time to be like that. It's time to let it flow out. The proof's in the pudding. What are, you, what are you betraying? What are you showing? You know, it's not, I mean, I've been to some churches and it's like, man, you get this feeling like that that saying, don't, don't do as I do, do as I say. You know, there's all this, you can just, it's called the spirit of sermon, but you can see this all this underlying current and it say one thing and do and, and do exactly the opposite or do what they say they're not doing. It's just man, it's a mess. Warm fuzzy feeling with this bunny rabbit. And then let's take one that's not even a Christian holiday. Halloween. Oh, it's there's nothing wrong with it. You just dress up and what do you dress up as? Witches, warlocks, goblins, ghosts. Maybe have some of this, these people that worship Satan, these satanic people, one of their holidays. Why is it called Halloween? What's the Bible say? Hallowed be thy name. Guys, even this, which is past and over with, and nobody even talks about it anymore, and it's okay. I'm not trying to stir up a bunch of old garbage, but all that impeachment garbage, what day did that start on? The trials and stuff. Halloween. All this false phoniness is coming to pass. It's coming down, guys. Even the falseness of the religious world is coming down, guys. Now they're, you know, the economy, guys, we got to take our, that's one of the other idols, the dollar, we've got to take our trust off of the money now, it's going to become digital, and it means stuff spinning pretty fast, out of control, digital dollar, where's it all headed to, guys? You know what I'm saying, if you're, if you're claiming to be a Christian, you know where it's all headed? Not good, but this message is not because that's an issue too. Is this fear-based message? God doesn't want a bunch of scared, scared Christians. Doesn't want you to run to them because you're scared of what's going on. I'm a watchman. I'm just warning people. Look out. Turn to God. Change. Repent. Turn your life over to him and watch him work it out. He's got so much for you. He wants us to trust in him. I, and I got a lot of messages out there, guys, and it's not just me. I'm not the only one saying this. There's plenty of people out there saying the same thing. Plenty of preachers, ministers. Just good, solid Christians out there saying the same thing. <clears throat> Time to turn back to the basics. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Who's your source? Where are you getting this stuff from? And I'm. This is another warning. Just turn the news off, guys. Pick and choose what you want, or turn, you know, very selectively, because it's just a bunch of garbage, most of it. <clears throat> all the stuff that's going on right now a bunch of fear based <clears throat> stuff honestly I get it I get the seriousness of it I, I understand that so does God Jesus and the Holy Ghost and his word but we can't live like that guys he told me these are some things he told me he said he's going to do some things that aren't going to require money. There's some things he's, he's having me do.
too, and it helps ministry. And it's, man, it's already like well, soon I'm going to have you know, probably got a hundred different testimonies in that area already. From a natural standpoint, if you looked at how this all transpired and is starting, it'd be like that ain't going to work. But I've been obedient, follow the Lord. What's the next step? Man, it's been awesome. I'm a little tired, and I've been stretched, and I could do some things maybe a little differently that might make it easier. But I, but I, my, I know I'm on the wheel, and so it's like God. I don't want to really move. I want you to finish molding me in this. So okay, God, I'm just gonna do the obedience piece, guys, right now. So. Anyhow, there is a storm coming, guys. There's already some that are here right now today. Would you have thought two weeks ago? You couldn't go to church. Churches are closed. Mega churches to little churches. Everybody's running. Would you have thought if you lived out in some of the states like California and New York, your business would close, you'd stay home, <clears throat> or turn and turn into the natural, just like we did with this holiday idle stuff. <clears throat> Trusting in the government, two trillion dollars or whatever. Guys, that's a lie too. Sorry. Part of it. Oh well, yeah, they might do it and they may not. Where's the money coming from, guys? Don't have it. Just going to add to the deficit. Just going to, you know, it's just, it's, it's like taking out another credit card or whatever, you know. It's just a phony money. They're just going to print more. They don't even talk about balancing the budget hardly anymore. Or they're just more into debt, you know. No wonder there's so many people mad and debating and arguing about it. Because they know it's not good. But... The reason why it's not good is because we're putting our trust in that in the, in the almighty dollar and that's coming down guys i'm sorry you know i got i gotta use it too i need it too but i'm not gonna put my trust in it anymore my trust is in jesus god jesus the holy ghost and his word so anyhow Love you guys. Um, it's just time to just all these idols. I'm going to end with this because it was kind of a little shocking to me, honestly. But the Lord told me that we have just as many idols as India. Man, really? In America. So, I know some of what I'm saying sometimes seems a little off the map, and, and, and some of it is because of one of the trials I'm going through physically, but that also is a testimony. There's some miraculous healings that the Lord's already done. He's not done yet, so I'm not like claiming it, or, you know, because life and death is in the power of the tongue. I'm just saying, I'm in, kind of in a little bit of a fire on some of it, and, but that's okay, because I know, I know Jesus, I know God, I know the Holy Ghost, I know His Word, and it's, it's unto something. So, we love you guys, um, it's 5.30 in the morning, I'm a little tired, because I'm um, just, the Lord's got me kind of, I'm kind of pressed a little bit with just the things that he's having me, having me do, and it's, it's stretching me. It's okay, though, because I'm being obedient. I know it's, God's got a purpose for this, and so it's like, okay, God. I think you can read my cup, but that's what I drink out of every morning. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. He'll direct your paths. So that's where we need to be, guys. Not in all this 
you know, surreal stuff. And I, and I get it, you know, because it kind of hurts about this idols of the holidays and stuff. I understand that. Um, hurts me, too. I grew up on that, too. You know, so I'm not really directing it at, you know, parents or anybody or... I'm just saying it's time to turn, guys. Turn back to Christ. Let Jesus, let the blood of the Lamb. <clears throat> all the stuff that's going on all around us really is just warnings, you know. It's not... Because the world's so full of fear. And it's just not a fear-based message. I'm not saying that because, like I said, God doesn't want a bunch of scared Christians. He doesn't want you to come to him because out of fear. It's, you know, and even so that he didn't give you the spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that there's not warnings, guys. And the reason why I'm saying the way that I'm saying it is because it's like, man, wake up, guys. And wake up and smell the coffee. So, love you guys. Um, I got it too. I, but I also have to be obedient because I'm not going to stand before the Lord on my judgment day because we all have it coming. I'm not to stand before him and say, oh, uh, I didn't say that. Uh, you know, spin some kind of story. The God that created heaven and earth, do you think he can see through all of our stuff? course no more games lies deceit uh we gotta just be real guys it's just like even if it's a little raw that's why i said that 5 a.m prayer is so important because you're gonna get direction you're gonna get things coming out of you you're gonna get things cleaned up you're gonna get you know the vision you're gonna He's going to talk to you guys. He just wants you to listen. Sometimes it's to speak. Sometimes it's not. But. <clears throat> very, very important. It's 5.56 now. So, you know. Kind of ending, sort of, maybe. But anyhow. Pass it out. Pass it around. The 5 a.m. prayer is so, so important. Don't take my. Don't take me. My. My word. Love you guys.